What's all of it? Uh, Tim Tofunga here. I go over my my ingeyale, my lokalenga. I go anga ingeyole referenda ingey Australia. You are my 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 foile le paloka ngusila for year. Ma ma li foil paloka ngusila. Just a via kalengo makapule le referenda lenga. Lenga ma e ma ingay ingay Australia. Le yes no vote uh, mole referenda Australia. Mole uh, constitutional recognition recognitional le apoliki ingay uh, for the uh, Australian Constitution. Yawa fainga le 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 fat moi moi le apoliki. Ko ke fainga ai. Olo le aso muli muli ang ako yao kay fangan wangay. Ay kaofi yao le Australian Electoral Commission. Kalway nga isi muli ang yao wakaofi yao le le officer ali Electoral Australian Electoral Commission. Ilungaw le famakala may nga o broadcast le le lo ngalwenga le ko e faio le the officer in charge i le Australian Electoral Commission i wo kerfongi mai le le pa langi for mai le divisional returning officer o for mai o langa go Jim Sims for mai fa sang o ka u i le la langi a ko o au le o i see Ma o au e mo moanga o iloa le 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 results a le a le result a le referenda. Ilese soli kula fongo nga makaupu a ilunga o le fai longa langu a kaka ia inge Australia. Ia wa wa kuli esa ia o ma fa ma vai ia o mai le mai le Australian Electoral Commission. O le si foi meanga kupu foi. Kami ngao fangan wenga for the Australian Bureau of Statistics ngao fat ma vai for ya oya kalwenga o broadcast i lo YouTube le lo ngal wenga as a as a census field manager ya ngao ngao kelfoni ni mai la ya le office of the Australian Bureau of Statistics for mai ya fat ma vai for oya langa wo e kau i lo langi ngao kifang wenga le as a field manager, he man kua wao le saamo. A leo ki ka leo ki ka waku lo ngalwenga ai fa mai fa saamo ka uwe se si lo ngalwenga. Fai lo ngalang. Yeah, okay, now, in English. Okay, my name is Tim Tafunga. I recently was uh, nominated as the officer in charge for the Woodridge polling station for the Australian referenda uh, on October the 14th. I was dismissed because I had published on Facebook that I was the officer in charge because I said that as an officer in charge I'm the first to know the results of my polling booth. Because I stated that I am the officer in charge and I'm the first to know the results of the polling booth, uh, the the uh, the divisional returning officer by the name of Jim Sims said that uh, I can't do that. That's a breach, and therefore I'll be dismissed instantly. So without any redress, at the last minute, I had to return all of the voting ballot papers that I had in my house uh, for a number of weeks. Uh, I had to return everything, and. All of the materials for the referendum so I did all that and have been fired instantly uh, which I believe is tantamount to a racist hate crime and when I saw the results of the uh, the Australian referendum it actually confirmed racism in Australia I've gone through the results of the tally and if you can see here all the results of the Australian Electoral Commission. I've analysed the Woodridge polling station 
and their results, it revealed that Woodridge, my polling station that I was meant to be the uh, OIC, um, overwhelmingly voted yes, not overwhelmingly, but they won with the yes. Brisbane City and the Brisbane Electorate Division voted yes, but the redneck areas of Queensland rural sectors and unbelievably North Queensland where there's a lot of Aborigines voted no. 70% of Queensland voted no to recognising the Aborigines in the Australian Constitution. How racist is that? How thick are those people? The t Uncle Toms who voted no. <laughs> you have no idea how important the referenda was for the Aborigine people. And how important it was for Australia race relations in the eyes of the world. The world saw Australia as a racist country. <laughs> and that's why, you know, you, you add the Australian yes vote together with AUKUS and then you add King Charles III on all the coinage, you realise that Australia has its apron strings very much staunchly attached, staunchly attached to Mother England and militarily with AUKUS, with, with Australia, United Kingdom and the United States. It tells you that Australia's paranoid. They're so scared of the Aborigines being empowered. They're so scared giving 3% of the Australian population recognition in the Australian Constitution. How pathetic and racist is this country? And for that reason alone, I'd say China and the Belt and Road go to the Pacific, go to my people in Samoa, help them make stuff Australia. They're, they're evil, they're racist. It's an unbelievably racist country. Um, and the place, recently I had my court case, Ngofuau Aluioi Daubi Failo Lo from Sinonga, Okelongo Mangmalo, Ngoiloa Ngo Mangmalo, Lesa lo ia e ku mo au. Langa leso kupe. Ngo kua nga o au ngo i loa ngo manga maa lo. Ai whaia inga e le magistrate. Fa mai ia vakule sala. O whaia ku, o whai longa langu. Pe pelo ko inga pa langi fa mai ngo o si i whanga e ia ia. Ngo whai ori ko au o ingo ingo le pa langi. Whai longa langu. But, I tell you now. I went to the... I went to see the uh, the results of that area of Maranoa and Bauman and all these areas where there's uh, where all where I had once worked, and sure enough, 84% voted no from these areas. You know, from Dalby to uh, Roma to Chinchilla, 84% voted no to the Aborigines. I mean, how racist is that area? <laughs> and, and Chris Mead, where I voted, I voted with my sister. We, we both went and voted yes. We voted yes for Aboriginal representation. And guess what? My sister and I, on this side of Chris Mead, were one of 226 people who voted yes out of the 800 or so who voted no. Now that, add that together with the Chris Mead State High School results. Chris Mead was overwhelmingly, my suburb of Chris Mead was overwhelmingly no, which goes to prove that I think that every single white person in my area voted no, and probably every single Samoan and probably Maoris in this area voted yes. That's what I believe. I believe that there are some Samoans who may have voted no because they're Christians and 
the Christians and their ministers are a bit whacked. They would say for white supremacy to rule and they would encourage their congregation to vote no. So you may have that. Now that's what I, my, my inclination is that a lot of these Christians here are, are, are closet rednecks. But you get that. So that's why I can't be bothered going to churches. But anyway, what I've realised that 70% of Queensland said no. 70% of Australia said no. And I am satisfied in knowing that Australia is undoubtedly racist. And in America, you have MAGA, Make America Great Again, and the KKK. In Australia, you have MAGA, which is Make Australia Great Britain Again. That is what MAGA is in Australia. So you can see that with, with emphatic uh, truth and white Australia is very alive and very powerful. It is really, really a racist, assimilationist, monocultural, racist country, without any doubt. Asia for Asians, mate, go for it. Asia Pacific for Asians. China, mate, save the First Nations. China, save the First Nations from AUKUS. They're rednecks here. They're Brits. They're Eurocentric people here. And, we're, and I'm even speaking English, and I'm, I, I find it very reprehensible that I have to speak in English in order to be fully understood by everybody because this country has assimilated us all and they've turned everybody into a redneck. And this is a redneck country. In America, rednecks hide behind pointed hats and white hats and they all vote they all have burning crosses in Australia they just go to the ballot boxes and you see the votes and it's a 70% redneck racist country thank you love and so what